Hi, it's Tony here from the Think to Thrive team with this next video for you during this time of challenge and crisis. First of all, let me ask you a question. Do you notice something slightly different with this environment from the first video that I sent you? Yes, of course, it's the candles. On the first video, you may have noticed that the candles were not lit. On this video, these two candles are lit. Why? Well, every day, well, every evening before I go to sleep, I just sit quietly and during my meditations, I just look at a candle flame. You see, the candle represents hope, light, illumination, hope, that ever, ever and never ending burning hope or spirit of humanity. So having those two candles there, uh, while I speak to you, I'm going to keep these lit now for every video that I send you just to show you that there is going to, we are going to get through this. And these videos are for your empowerment and resilience during this time. So today's video, I'm going to show you two uh, cards which may appear to be very similar. Let me explain. The first one, the first card I'm going to show you, something which all of us are experiencing or have experienced at some time during the last few weeks, fear. Now fear creates a very, very, very low vibrational state in, turn, in terms of your mental capacity. Fear will restrict you, it will control you, it will squash you down and it will prevent you from making the right sorts of decisions incredibly, incredibly powerful at destroying hope, resilience, uh, clear-mindedness. Now, fear, it may sound to you, well, that's irresponsible, Tony, to say, how on earth, Tony, can you say that, that fear is a bad thing? Well, I'm in fear and I can't help it. Surely I've got to feel fear during this time. Well, let me explain something. Fear is completely different from these words. Responsibility. Caution, concern, worry, and resolve. You see, you could have, at the moment, a command in it up here mentally of responsibility, of being cautious, of being concerned even, maybe worried at times, and having a sense of resolve, especially if you're in lockdown at the moment in your own home. But that's completely different from that vibration of fear. Because what fear will do is it will destroy you. It will narrow all of your avenues to flourish, uh, to think clearly, and it will push you down. This is not a good vibrational state to be in. So by sitting and watching the news for countless hours during the day, enumerating with friends on the phone about how awful things are, it's only going to make matters worse. That has been known since the beginning of time by all of the most successful people, the power of fear over your mental focus. So what I am saying is it's a good thing, it's fine, it's okay to have responsibility, caution, concern, maybe worry and resolve during your day. I experience all of those. That one I am saying no to and I want you to try and do the same as well. If you find it hard, then just focus on these words instead, which sound very, very similar, but they will have a better outcome for your mental resilience during this time of crisis. Now, to finish off the second half of this video, I'm gonna hand over to my incredibly empowering, wonderful friend, Mike Hendricks, who was the first person I sat down with uh, during this time of responsibility, caution, worry, resolve, to get clear-headed. Uh, so he's gonna take the second part of this video for you on the difference between fear and responsibility. Over to Mike Hendricks. So the question is, what are you choosing to feel? Are you in a vibration of fear? Or are you being cautious, responsible, or showing a spirit of resolve? Now remember, your greatest power is choice. I'll say that again. Your greatest power lies within choice. Now we speak about this extensively in our online Think to Thrive program, but it's true. You always, even in this moment of where there seems to be no hope, despair, Tony used the word crisis, even in this word time of crisis, you always have the choice. You can think fear, you can think 
disempowering thoughts, you can think the world's going to end, or you can think positively, you can think hope, you can think optimistically. You hear me say, often when a challenge comes, you can see it two ways. You can see it as an opportunity, or you can see it as an obstacle. Now it's very difficult at times like this to see things as opportunistic and as a period of hope and things that can change for the better. That's the not the current status quo. People are thinking about it's doom and gloom, it's despair, and I understand that. But remember, you always have that choice, even right now. So what are you choosing? My thoughts are empowering. I'm here to inspire you. I'm using this as an opportunity where I can't really go to the house. So what can I do? I can sit and think in a, in a negative way. I can't do this, I can't do this. Or I can have a can-do mentality. I have a choice. You have that choice as well, my friend. So, so I'm gonna leave it with you today. In this moment where people are thinking about fear, concern, remember that you always have the choice to think in a way that's gonna empower you, energize you, move you towards a better mood, a better feeling, a sense of hope and optimism moving forward. Because we are gonna get through this. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you found this video of value. Remember to share this. We're trying to grow our We Think to Thrive community. So if you know someone who's gonna benefit from these videos, benefit from these talks, benefit from these words Tony and I are sharing, please share it with your circle of friends. Until next time, be energized, be empowered to your success. Take care.